Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for returning. Dominique, aka Legally Bomb. And today I'm just doing like a little reflection, I guess you could say. So let's just get right into the video. So if you're new to my channel, you may not know, but a year or so ago, no, not a year or so ago, literally today, a year ago was my last day at my job in quote unquote corporate America. Um, I do have videos on that and I will link them somewhere above so you guys can go watch that. But yeah, I just wanted to come and do a quick little reflection and just keep you guys, update you guys, I guess, um, since just like a year reflection about since I um, quit my job. I can't believe it's been a year. It's really hard to believe like I've been back in Charlotte or well this time last year I was not back in Charlotte. Um, in a few days it'll be a year I was in Charlotte but um, yeah it's just crazy to me that it's been a year. It doesn't feel like a year at all. And looking back it was a really hard decision to make to leave my job and leave my security and all that but it was probably one of the best things I could have done in this past year um the growth I've seen in myself is almost unreal the way I handle certain things is just like mind-blowing I'm almost always surprised by myself about how I respond to things it's, for one I've now kind of adopted this spirit of gratitude or thankfulness I guess you could say like I'm just always super appreciative for the space that I'm in and I've also gained this understanding of just because you're here now does not mean this is where you'll be forever and so that also allows me to be grateful for the now just knowing that better is to come I don't know if that makes sense I mean it makes sense to me um because I know a lot of the times we're not like we don't take the time to sit in the moment that we're in we're always looking for what's next you know we're never satisfied and I just really it's become so important to me just appreciate where I am and but also never forgetting that I'm not where I want to be and that where I want to be is attainable just the other day um I was just like getting a little bit like frustrated with where I'm at in life and because things aren't going the way I want them to go and the way I plan like I have this idea in my head of how I want things to go and what I need to do to execute it and those things kind of it's not happening the way I want, I guess you could say. And so the other day I got frustrated because I got an email back from a job that I didn't get. And this is like my third time interviewing with this company. And um, every time I'm just not getting the job or whatever. And I was just telling my mom, like, I was just getting so frustrated with not getting the job from this company or whatever. And it's like making me want to just feel like, well, forget it. And, you know, just be content with where I am. But, you know... Because I want more, and like I said, there's a plan in my head, and I see things going this way, and it's not happening. I had to just stop and think, you know, Dominique, while you want more, you know, in this past year, I've traveled more than I ever did with far less money than I had while I was working a full, uh, full-time corporate job or whatever. Like, from August until December, I think I went somewhere every month, and... I have to be thank you know I have to let me backtrack another thing that has come is like my point of view has just shifted I try to find positivity and try to find the the silver lining and the silver lining in a dark cloud as much as possible so like I said I'm sitting here frustrated because I want this job I want more money da 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 and it's not happening but with the job I have now and with less money I've been able to travel so much and I did not have that flexibility. I had the money, but I didn't have the flexibility. And I was just so irresponsible with my money last year. So I just had to, like I said, find the silver line, find the silver lining in that cloud, I guess you could say. I just, I'm just really thankful that I made that choice to quit my job because I would not be as appreciative, of, as appreciative of the things in my life as I am now. Like. I love, although my friends live so far away, it's not that far, they live 30 minutes away. It compare, it doesn't compare to them being literal miles away, a plane right away. Although my mom, she doesn't think that, she probably doesn't know this, but I love that she's just right upstairs. I love, even though like we don't spend time like sitting up under each other, it's just really nice for me to know that my mom is right there. I have a cousin who lives like around the corner. Um, 
I have more family who live a couple hours away, friends who live a few hours away, and it's just so great to be back in a space where everybody who I love is just super duper close and I'm not out here by myself. But they also showed me, living in Kansas City also showed me that I literally don't need anybody to do anything um, because I literally did it by myself. I moved somewhere by myself where I did not know anyone. So, you know, while I am thankful for that lesson of learning how to be alone, I'm also even more thankful to be back surrounded by love. Um, it was exactly what I needed. It came at the perfect time and it's also allowed me to... Because of the growth that I've experienced, it's also allowed me to re-enter different relationships with a new mindset that I didn't have before and that are probably the reason why um, the relationship or friendship failed before. Because I really, in Kansas City, I was not at my best. Like, I was fat. Um, let me not say fat. <laughs> I had gained a good amount of weight. I lost all the weight that I gained in Kansas City. At least I think. I don't know how much I weighed before I left. All I know is that I'm not that size anymore. Um, it's just crazy how unhappiness and depression, I use that term lightly because I was never diagnosed with it, but it's crazy how those things really manifest in your life and how they permeate throughout your relationships, throughout your spirit, throughout your soul. Like, I was just so not myself. Like, I was not the Dominique that I am today or that the Dominique that I know that I was capable of being, um, which is why it's so important now for me to be happy. I have to be, I cannot have stress around me. I have to have peace. If, with those little memes that are on Instagram, that say like, if it costs my peace, it's too expensive. I literally mean that. Like, you cannot come, like, I've worked far too hard, you know, to get to this point and to grow to be this awesome person. I do say, I think I have grown to become pretty awesome. I've become such a much better friend. Um, I feel like I'm a better daughter. I love my mom. Mom, you hit the jackpot with me, but no, nah, seriously, I said I'm just all around a better person because I took care of myself. You know, you can't show up for anybody else before you show up for yourself. You know, you can't be a good friend to other people when you haven't been good to yourself. You know, you can't be that person that your friends need you to be, um, that support system that they, that they need you to be when you yourself are so broken. I mean, you can and you can and you might do it, but you won't be at your best. So, um, yeah, I, it's just crazy to me. And, you know, like I said earlier, I've just learned to operate in a spirit of being grateful because I will say that in my life so far, my time in Kansas City, or not the whole time, but a lot of that time was probably the bottom for me, you know? And I said this in my sitting room interview, and if you haven't re listened to that, I highly suggest you go listen to that. Um, I said in my sitting room interview that Every day, the Kansas City was, let's say Kansas City was the bottom. Every day above the bottom is a good day for me. Whether that day is bad or good, it's not where I used to be. You know what I'm saying? It's so easy for us to be like, oh, my life sucks, or today was bad. Da, da, da. It could be far worse. I'm literally grateful for every day that I'm not where I used to be. Literally. And it, because... It, it, and now it's like I have this weird sense of faith. And I think my mom, she'll tell you, like, she, she kind of thinks I'm, like, nonchalant or not prepared. But it's almost just like I have this new faith in God. I don't know who you believe in, but um, I have this new faith in God that allows me to understand that I'm where I'm supposed to be at all times. What's for me will not miss me. And so it it eliminates this sense of worry or this sense of stress that I don't have. I just don't have it. I don't I don't feel compelled to stress. I don't feel compelled to worry. Like, granted, I did get upset and I kind of had to check myself about that job. And because I mean I'm human, you know. But it's all it's all about how you deal with the emotions that um, that you face with, and that's kind of how you you're able to change your mindset. It's, it's not about stopping the emotions. It's about how you deal with them, you know, which is something. It's just like me saying this stuff is just like mind boggling. Like, who am I? You know, but that's just what happens when you choose your happiness first. Like, that's literally all I did. And I'm, I will never tell anybody to just up and quit their job because that is not what I did. I did not just up and quit my job. Like, mm, I'm leaving in two weeks. No, I planned this like months in advance. My, I think my 
Message has always been to find your happiness, whatever that looks like. And I said this in the video a year ago, whether that means finding a new job, whether that means finding a new role within your new job, or whether that means letting your boss know you have too much going on that, you know, you're, the load is too much. Whatever that looks like for you, make it, make it happen. And if it means quitting your job, okay, make a plan, create a plan that will allow you to leave your job so that you're not stuck. Because a lot of the times we feel stuck. I know I felt stuck because I had no idea what I was going to do. And I had no idea how life was going to pan out. But I was just like, you know what? Nothing else was working. So I was like, we got to go. I have to leave. And so I left. When I left, I really, I had an idea of what life would be like. And that, oh, I was going to leave and get a job immediately. And da, da, da. that did not happen. Life hit me super hard. Like, so much stuff that I had to deal with at once while trying to get myself together. It was a lot. And while... While in it and while dealing with it, it was a lot and I didn't think that I could handle it and I didn't think I was going to be able to take it. I mean, look, I'm here now. I did it. I beat it. And that's the same thing about me being in Kansas City. I felt so stuck. You know, we, we can also, we can always feel stuck in something or, you know, like there's no way out. This is the only job I can get. But it's like, no, like, if you think that you're stuck, look at me. I made it on out. You know what I'm saying? And... It's very possible to get out. You're not stuck. It's just more so a matter of thinking of the plan that's going to free you. That you have to just find that courage and that confidence to find your own happiness. Because if you're somewhere every day and you're not happy, like what good is that doing for you? I'm telling you, it's going to manifest in other areas of your life. And eventually you're not even going to recognize the life that you live. You're not going to recognize the person that you are. And that's not um, a good feeling. And I say this literally from experience. Like, I was not myself for a long time. And now I'm kind of starting to see myself. I'm just like, oh, okay. This is what she likes. I'm digging her. I'm feeling her vibe. I like her. And, um, yeah, don't ever feel like you're stuck. Or that you have to have a job. That job. There's another job out there. You'll find it. You'll get there. Since people know that I've um, actually quit a job... They'll, uh, they'll write me and be like, you know, how did you know when enough was enough or da 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 And it's, I can't tell you what that point is. It's kind of like um, Raven, my friend Raven, she, I was dealing with this guy and I was telling her, like, I'm so sick of him. He's getting on my nerves. Da, da, da. He was just like, yeah, she's like, Don. And I was like, I don't know. I can't leave him alone. Da, da, da. She was like, yeah, I know, Don. But she was like, when you know enough isn't, she's like, when enough is enough, you'll know. And that point actually came. When enough was enough and I was just like, I'm done here. And I think the same thing applied with my job. Like, it just came to a point where it's like, I cannot do this. I cannot keep doing this to myself. This is making me sick, you know? So it's just like, I can't tell you what that point is. It's literally a feeling that you know, like, I'm not supposed to be here. And like thinking back to a year ago when I first posted that video, it was just so many people telling me, you know, um... I can't believe you you quit your job. I've been feeling like this. I thought I was the only one, which is literally mind boggling to me because we're literally all millennials a few years out of college trying to figure out life. And for you to think you're the only person that feels this way is crazy. But it also makes sense because we live in a world of social media and where people only post the highs and not many people discuss their lows or are willing to be transparent about what it took to get to the high or, you know, when they were down but I'm not I don't really care I don't, I don't really because it's, it's bigger than me it's big it's beyond me like me shit me holding that to, me keeping that to myself does nothing but by me sharing it I know at least one person will will be moved or will be changed which is fine with me I know this video may have seemed like kind of all over the place but I just hope you guys understand or take away from this that how take away how important it is for you to be happy and for you to choose your happiness above all else and whatever happy looks like for you just make sure you're creating that every day and manifesting good things into your life um for me this year has def definitely been a roller coaster but um it it was it was all worth it I don't regret my decision at all some days I 
I find myself like, hmm, what if I would have stayed? What if I would have did this? But what ifs don't really matter. Um, I made the decision that I made. I did what I did. And all in all, I, I did what was best. Um, I, I made the right decision. And it took a while to get here. But your girl is in a really good space. And I'm really happy. And I'm really glad that I'm able to say that. But um, I hope you get this video was good for you guys. Um, still can't believe that it's been a year. Um, yeah, that's really crazy to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Alright guys, I know you thought the video was over. But I do have one little surprise for you guys. If you did not know, I did hit my goal of 500 subscribers last week. So, just as a thank you to you all for continuously supporting me, I am doing a giveaway. I will be giving away a pair of sneakers. I'm giving away the Green Glow Air Max ones that were featured in my sneaker haul video, which was two videos ago. I don't have them here with me. They're in my car, but I'll insert something that you can see what sneaker I'm talking about over here. Um, so, yeah, I will be purchasing this shoe for whoever wins. They are available in a size 6.5 to 11 in women. So, guys, sorry, but you can fit that between a 6.5 and, and a women's 11. Please be, feel free to enter. It's open to you all as well. It's also open to the U.S. only. Um, if for some reason the shoe is not available. I, I've been checking, like, for the past few weeks. Um, and the shoes have been available in all sizes. So, if for some reason... It happens to not be available in your size by the time this giveaway is over. I'll just be sending you a Foot Locker gift card. Um, so, yeah. So, all you have to do to enter the giveaway is, number one, be subscribed. Number two, make sure you're following me on Instagram. At Legally Bomb is my Instagram name. Number three, you have to... Number three, what do you have to do? Oh, yeah. I need you to leave a comment down below of some content that you would like to see from me. And also, leave your Instagram name so that I can contact you when... The giveaway is over. So yeah, I guess I'll open it. What's today? Today is April 4th and I'm going to post this today, April 4th. So what's a week from today? A week from today is the 11th. So on the 11th of next week, I will post the winner on Instagram. And I will contact you via Instagram and get your address so that I can see you in the shoes. Thank you guys again for 500. Um, yeah. It's really appreciated. What? What's wrong with you? Why are you screaming? Can I finish my video, please? Yeah. Thank you guys for 500 subscribers. It's a really appreciated. Um, my next goal is a thousand, obviously. But yes, thank you guys so much for your support. It means so, 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 so much to me. So it was only right that I do a little giveaway. Small token of my appreciation. Good luck to whoever wins or good luck to all of you. And I will see you guys for this time. I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.